Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's time to cook. Welcome in, Bonk. I left the music a bit high. There we go. Hello, watermelon. Welcome in, everyone. Dust, sending you all the love and healing vibes through the internet, my dude. I hate being sick. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. Never fun having an illness, so hope you got on the mend. Yeah, Bonk saying eat some yogurt. Blood Oak saying eat some granolis. That'll be good. Hi, Wavek, how are ya? Greek, welcome in. It's good to see you today. How was your busy day yesterday? Bonk, you're gonna be only here for an hour because you're going out to the musical? Yeah, sweet. That'll be fun. Hi, eye shot. Yeah, get your snacks, folks. Okay, so it looks like the sun is not really gonna blast us too much today. There's a very nice filter from the fire smoke outside. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Mish, eat some feta. How are you? You detailed two vehicles. Is that like your little side gig that you do for extra fundage? Hi, boss man. Welcome in. Yeah, welcome, friends. It's good to see everyone. Hi, Venus. It was good, Greek. What vehicles were they? You're not late, boss man. You're actually here right on time. I always give everyone 15 minutes before we start at this time. That's your business, hopefully, full time. Oh, sweet. I hope it picks up then, my dude. That's awesome. Hello, it's Magic. Mason jar with handles? I didn't know this was a thing. I have no idea where... You guys could find these. This was like a hand-me-down from my parents. So I'll have to ask where they got these from because I remember these for my entire life. So whatever, 31 years, I don't know. So the brand is Care. So maybe look that up. But yeah, we have, I think five. <laughs> One of them broke, right? I always have six. But yeah, it's awesome. I love drinking out of that cup. It's my fave. Hi, Tika Sella. Welcome. Were you planting all your herbies this morning in your kitchen? 2002 Ford T-Bird and a GMC truck. Sweet, the T-Bird. That's cool, Greek. Morning, White Dove. Hi, Green Box Box. Green Box Box made another HelloFresh meal that they used from my code today. They made salmon. Said it was very good. So that's good. Uh, what else, guys? I didn't go for a walk this morning. It's still really gross out. They said, like, the air quality, because that's what I decided to check first, was moderate at 5. It's like, if you're at risk, don't go outside. It's like, yo, even if you're not at risk, you should not be doing strenuous activities outside when, like, the light filter is, like, orange. You've been to some restaurants that used to serve drinks and... And water in those cups so they do exist, Bonk? Okay. Might be a hot commodity though, right? Yeah, just had a good morning so far. Chilling, did my meditation. A little bit of dishes, stuff like that. Ready for good cooking. I did a Twitter poll this morning over there on Twitter if anyone uses it. I asked if anyone either grows or raises their own food. So I'm very excited to see the end results of that poll. Did the herbs last night, Tika Sella, waiting for cherry tomato and jalapeno seeds. Sweet. Hi, Cookie. How's it going? T-Bird was the customer's bar find. Ah, oh, legendary. Put in the garage for three years. Decided to part with it. Ah, oh, and yeah, never drives it really. That's smart. Now, what else? Oh, when I was watering, I decided to go out after stream water the like basil and a couple herbs I have outside. And we also, Randall let me know that we could water the dog. So then we watered the dog yesterday to cool her off, right? Because it was like 36. Just pour the leftovers from the water jug on her. She just like got the craziest zoomies. It was awesome. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going to go charge the car later. I decided not to go yesterday because it was just heckin' gross out. Pretty much it, guys. We'll make some brunch. I do know that the breakfast casserole has to bake for like 
uh, quite a bit of time, like probably around 30 to 40 minutes. So while we do that, we will plan some more San Diego adventures. Al Alexander, you're so lost in your life. What can we do to help, friend? Okay, here's the menu. This is something we found all together on Monday. Hash brown breakfast casserole, Italian basil sausage, potatoes, scrambled egg. I decided to put some spinach in there. I think we'll put some peppers too for health. And then some cheese and it kind of gets mixed all together with some milk. I think it's going to be really delicious, honestly. So the first thing that I did is just took these out of the freezer. No name hash browns. I got the diced one rather than the shredded ones. Those ones are a little bit harder to find here in the stores, the shredded, but we can always find these. And it's so cheap, these hash browns. So they just say to like, let it thaw a little bit while you prep the rest of the stuff. So not everything is cold, cold, cold. When it goes in the oven, it'll cook quicker, right? Yeah, let's get some breakfast in our lives. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. No name ones are the best, right? <laughs> seriously my favorite brand and now i'm like looking around my kitchen some days and just like see the little yellow packages throughout this stuff i don't know why it's so satisfying okay so what's in here potatoes soybean and or canola oil dextrose and sodium phosphate the sodium phosphate is probably just to make it not go brown what are we cooking we're making a hash brown breakfast casserole today welcome in Seriously, they're the best. So that brand is only Canadian. And it's from like the Loblaws uh, company, let's say. And it's like their token little grocery store brand. But then they also have like a higher end brand called President's Choice, which is very good. Hey, Greek, like Greek would know. So where we usually go shopping at Cookie, the real Canadian superstore, that's the brand of that. Uh, another store that carries it is also called No Frills. And it's like mostly just no name in that store. It's like everything is of that brand. It's so dang good. Like they're some of the best chips ever. It's a dollar per bag for their bags of chips. Best tasting chips ever. Seriously. So like, yeah, don't don't count out those cheaper brands because sometimes the simpler stuff is way better. Do you know how to make Pizza or pot pie completely from scratch? I 100% do. Both of those things. You need to, but can't remember, so you're procrastinating on crying or cooking. Whoa. Yeah, we have a lot of recipes there. I mean, I can't help you with those particular things right meow, but I have a lot of content on that stuff. So check out our Discord. Check out my YouTube channel. You can search on there from our past Twitch streams. Good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna pop up that recipe for my own self from Spend With Pennies today. And then Lil Valk said this is like her favorite recipe blog that she always goes to, so that's good. Yeah, kind of like how the Kirkland brand has like taken a lot of big name brands under their wing, that's true. She says, a hash brown casserole is perfect when you need to feed a crowd first thing in the morning. There's only two of us. <laughs> Eggs, sausage, and hash browns are layered in a casserole dish topped with cheese baked to a gooey golden brown. Yummo. Serve with a fresh fruit salad or fruit kebabs. Keep the coffee coming or mimosas. Let's go. <laughs> Day will start off right with this delicious no fuss breakfast casserole. That's true. If you like to like host people in your home, and like don't often do a brunch thing because you feel like it's too stressful. Just make like a casserole. Easy peasy. Yeah, turn down for what? Let's do this, Greek. <laughs> if only I wasn't driving later. She says, I use shredded, but any hash browns will work in this recipe. Even leftover home fries or roasted potatoes. Sometimes we like have leftover baby roasted potatoes in the fridge or something. Use it on up. So it's like, it's kind of like a frittata, I would say. She says, sausage, the sky's the limit for this recipe. Use cooked or smoked of any kind. Swap it out for turkey, sausage, ham, bacon, or even leftover ground beef, she says. 
<laughs> yeah, Greek gets excited for mimosas, doesn't even drink anymore. It's still okay to get excited about those things, right? She says, I add peppers to the casserole, but add whatever veggies you have on hand. Mushrooms, make sure you cook them first so they don't get watery. Asparagus or even steamed broccoli are great. We're going to do peppers and spinach. I mean, I definitely want to cook the spinach beforehand because it'll get so watery. The recipe is very forgiving. You can alter according to your preference or what you have on hand. It will accommodate lots of leftover meats, veggies, and cheeses of all kinds. Just chop it or shred it and toss them all into the mix. Well, that could not be easier. And so we're going to be baking it at 350 Fahrenheit. She says 55 to 65 minutes, but I don't think it's going to take quite that long. But it's okay to leave yourself that amount of time for sure. Oh, in intriguing. If we don't want to wait that long today... She says you can make them and distribute all this stuff in an egg muffin or in a muffin tin. And then you have like little portion sizes. That would cook way quicker. She says leftovers if you have them, like if you meal prep this for breakfast during the week, keep in the fridge for three to four days, reheat it in the microwave or the oven. And you can also freeze it too. Crazy. Yeah, it has so many good reviews. Over 1,300 votes, 4.9 stars. You know it's good. Okay, I didn't get a lot of ingredients yet this morning. I just got the hash browns out, so I got to go grab eggs and all that other fun stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say uh, Sam's uh, co-worker phoned me like right before stream this morning. So that's what I was doing quickly before this was chatting with him. Hi, Vune. How are you? Look at that angel. Very innocent. <laughs> he's very nice, though. The human that Sam worked with. So I think he's going to come and grab maybe some jerky from me tomorrow or something. Okay, hold tight. I will be right back momentarily. Maybe I'll even write a little list for myself first. Kind of get everything in my head. Yeah, let's do it. Vune. Welcome in. You want to eat, but you don't want to cook? I don't know then. Maybe an order in sort of day. Okay, so first things first. I think we will do the peppers and spinach. Cook those. You know we'll cook it with some garlic in there. That'll be nummy. And then we will, I think, whip up the eggs. So it's going to cook quicker if the eggs are like a little bit more at room temp, right? Rather than cold, cold. Whip the eggs with the milk. We will cook the sausage in the same pan as the peppers and spinach. So let's not make a mess of that. And that's good to go. <laughs> Greek, you're real slow today. That's okay. Sometimes we need that in our life. Making simple food, burger and tater wedges. There you go. Just need motivation. Well, I'm cooking, so you can also cook now. We can do this together, Vune. I'm gonna post that. Yeah, the sausage, potatoes, scrambled eggs, spinach, and then we'll shred the cheese. And I think that's it. That is so dang simple. Lovely. I think instead of the onion, let's just do a, a little bit of shallot in there too. Shallot and garlic. And yeah, it was like, it was hard to choose a sausage for this at the store. Originally, I wanted to get like a chorizo for it, but I couldn't find that. I didn't want to go too spicy either. I didn't really feel like breakfast sausage was good with everything. Sometimes they're like sweet. So I chose Italian sausage with fresh basil in it. Okay, I will be back momentarily. I got to mute this. Otherwise, my mic will cut out when I go there. BRB, and I will probably return with a cooker dog.
I'm back. I have returned with other things. Look at my happy tray of ingredients. It is so yuck outside, guys. Holy, it's hard to breathe out there. The air is like so dang heavy. Okay, look at these. I love how fatty these look. Italian sausage with basil. Yummo. There's our pepper and spinach. We'll start with that. Brought over garlic shallot. Happy eggies. <laughs> Moo. Saw a funny chorizo meme yesterday. The person said, I bought this bullshit ass soy chorizo. Thinking it was saying, I am chorizo in Spanish. That's funny. <laughs> soy chorizo. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, you got this, Vune. I, I believe in you. I trust that you're gonna create something good for yourself. Let's do this. Okay, so the spinach, this is actually left over from like a HelloFresh box. I just didn't use it. I also bought another really big container of spinach, but I think this will be more than enough. I mean, we can pick through it if we feel like we need to, but it honestly looks amazing in there. And then usually what I do is we'll cook this all in like the whole leaves and then afterwards you can chop it up a bit smaller so it's not like stringy. Turn up that light a little bit. So we'll core the pepper. And my fridge is just like full of such good produce right now. Oh, the worst. As I say that, we got like a mutant pepper with another pepper growing inside. <laughs> Classic. And then because we're already gonna do like small dice pepper, I'll trim around the top. Use it all up. No mutant peppers allowed though. Don't you guys hate when that happens? It weirds me out so much. I was reminiscing this morning of like working on the organic farm on the island like flipping through some photos and stuff. Just like thinking about how hard of work that is. People don't realize how hard farmers work. Like what a humbling experience that was. Okay, we're gonna really nicely dice this up. Like quite small, I think. Not too large. You can kind of dress up this casserole like how you would build an omelet for yourself or how you like to eat scrambled eggs. Use whatever veggies you like. I like the suggestion of broccoli too. I think that would be good. Okay, so we got all our lengths. Now we'll do our dices next. So I think we'll cook the peppers on their own first, maybe with the shallot. Then we'll take that out of the pan, cook the spinach next with the garlic. Take that out of the pan and then cook the sausage. That'll go nice and quick. Oh, test. Oh my God, what the hell? Okay, that's actually scary. I just got goosebumps. Uh, there's an Amber Alert right now from our province to Manitoba where Torino is. So there's one province in between. There's a dangerous person on the loose right now that's wanted for multiple stabbings. Word. <laughs> when it's not just a test, you're like, okay, what is this gonna be? Do I want to go out later at night? Maybe not. <laughs> Clem, how's it going? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. I might want to read through the rest of that just really quickly. My phone's set up as a, the other camera for later when we do our San Diego planning while this bakes. So I didn't read it all on my watch, but I might. <laughs> uh, this world, I tell you, hey? Crazy place. At least there's things like that, though, to keep us safe. At least it's known. Yeah, brah, please. It's too early. I haven't even had breakfast yet. No, it's a lie. I did have breakfast already today. <laughs> Sheesh. They went dark today. It's a dark one on this Sunday. <laughs> 
Uh, we have them for like kind of everything. Well, the Amber Alerts, yes for that. And then also for Dangerous Human. And then we also have just like the Emergency Alert for obviously natural disasters, right? Okay, shallot will finally dice. The garlic, we'll just mince with the garlic press, make our life easy. That's freaking nuts though. I'm just gonna go read it on my iPad really quick. I need to know this since I live in that province. Oh, it went away. They're calling it a civil emergency. And it seems like they are coming this way from Manitoba. They're heading through Saskatchewan right now. Two male suspects, black Nissan Rogue. Okay, I will remember that later when I'm driving around. What the hell is wrong with people, man? A lot of people need like mental health help, right? It's not even a thing to like laugh or joke about. Okay, well, at least now I know. Is there also an uncivil one? Yeah, like what? <laughs> Blood oak. Moo. Exactly, Astra. <laughs> She's upset too. Weasel, what's up, my dude? Welcome in. How's your Sunday going? You're with me, Kay? I'm glad. Okay, so let's finally dice this up. Not like, I'm not gonna go too fine. We'll kind of treat it like an onion. This is the type of eggy stuff I cook when Samo's not here because he doesn't really love this type of meals. Not that that is a bad thing at all. Just sometimes I do have this like hankering for this type of food. Probably because I was born in Canada. And rather, he was born in Germany, and he's like more of like a yolky egg guy. The ones when you eat them in the little cups and stuff for dipping. It's not a very North American egg man. Yeah, they are very important. That's why I was like, you know what? It is actually my due diligence to like know what is happening, Venus. And I also know that we all have like other Canadians in the stream here, so if they don't catch it, well, at least now everyone knows. Sunday fun day, beers, cooking later. What's on the menu? Okay, there's our shallot. Garlics. Not too much garlic. Like there's a limit with garlic and eggs for sure, I would say. But I definitely am using it more to like flavor all the veggies and the potatoes, not really the eggs. Yeah, we'll press that probably just into the pan later. That'll be the easiest rather than doing it now. I think that's pretty much it. Maybe we'll take the sausage out of the casing. I think I'm gonna bring with me while I go charge the car because I can't like heat food up, right? So I'll choose a cold food option. Uh, the rest of that steak bite rice bowl will be really good. You're making chicken breast taters, rice, and veggies in a bowl. Love it. Get those carbies in ya. Okay. <laughs> I haven't used Johnsonville sausages in so long. I don't know why that like kind of makes me happy. It's very nostalgic. It's like back then, that's like all you used to be able to buy, right? But there was never this flavor. I also noticed what they had a crazy flavor, like something queso, spicy queso. 
It's like, wow. So we're gonna squeeze the sausage out of the casing. I just think it'll be a better mouthfeel inside of the whole casserole. Easier to do this now than later when we're trying to cook it. So this is what I usually do. Just like twist it in half in the center and then you can push it out each side. And then it's not too weird. <laughs> Cause it's always honestly a little bit weird still. And it gets like slippery. Yeah, I'm pumped for this. And so cheap too. You didn't know you could do this? It's actually awesome, especially for like, I usually do it for like breakfast foods or if I'm gonna put sausage into a pasta. Or you can even use it to like make a sausage gravy, right? You've never tried this? Oh, you've always cut into it and then pulled it out. I don't know. This is working somehow. <laughs> I've never twisted it and done it this way, but it seems to actually work very nicely. And I guess you could also do that if you wanted like mini sausages, because that's how it's coming out. <laughs> oh no. The things that we learn here. <laughs> Day's done, exactly. What time is it for you, Weasel? You're welcome. <laughs> Smells yummy too, I will say. I don't like see the fresh basil, but I can smell it, so I'm in. 2.30? Okay, it's a little bit later for you there then. Okay, so that's it. Put that in the compost. Like literally no waste, right? And then I'm just gonna go... I wanna wash my hands. Maybe we'll make this even smaller now. So now you can just like tear off little sausage nubbins to cook. Learning how the sausage is made for reals. Yeah, you just like deconstructed it. The amount of sausages that I stuffed. I really made a lot in the last restaurant that I worked at. But I'm so happy that I did like learn about making charcuterie and stuff like that. So I'm sure just that little bit of knowledge will definitely help later when I get more into it. You're very welcome, Happy Phantom. I'm glad I showed you guys all that. It's always like kind of funny for me to do it on stream right <laughs> a bit phallic if you will but I ain't scared make fun of me I dare you <laughs> you can just drink heavy now <laughs> can you mash it together now and make a burger yeah oh and then that is good weasel so once upon a time when Sam and I had like leftover meatball mix in the restaurant. We made it into a burger later for lunch. Life changing. Yeah, don't discount that. Sausage burgy of sorts. Lovely. Okay, there we go. Now I'll go wash my hands because that's all good. Next up, I think I might have to go grab just a touch of milk from the fridge. I couldn't bring that over in my stack earlier to whip into the eggs and then those are good and then we'll start cooking the veggies. Just want those eggs to heat up a touch on the side while we do that. It'll cook it quicker. I know it. Hi, Scoots! Yeah, happy U.S. Labor Day. In Canada, it's also a holiday. I'm happy I'm uh, streaming then tomorrow, right? Okay, so peppers done, shallot, garlic, spinach. We didn't cook the sausage yet, so I won't cross that one off. Let's see how much milk we need. I think it's one and a third cup. So she says either a can of evaporated milk, which I don't often use. Hey, how's it going old style? Holy smokes, thanks for the 22 months in a row. You're almost at two years. How are we doing today? We're doing a-okay, my friend. 
How are you doing? Thank you for all the support. <laughs> yeah, for a second I thought today was Monday. Just got scared. It is nice to have an extra day off, right? I owe you lunch or something. Let's do it. I would love to meet up with you and have lunch. Okay, so one and a third cups of milk and then we need eight eggs. Maybe I'll just take all the eggs out right meow. And then I'll bring the rest back on that journey too. Use nice organic eggies. Eight. There we go. Just got done mowing. Nice, you had a brewery for beer. What kind of beer are you having, Scoots? Love that. Okay, friends, I'll be right back again. I'll bring a little container for the milk to pour into as well. We're rolling right along. And thanks, Bonk. I wonder how this looks together. The hype and the new sub emote. Kind of looks crazy, doesn't it? Looks good, actually. Okay, I'll be RB. Okay, I got a crazy milk dog here for a sec. Just, you're gonna clean the container after. Just take it easy, please. <laughs> a single and a honey ale. Mmm. Yeah, Costco 24 pack of eggs. They're so good. I think those are my favorite eggs, Bonk. <laughs> Weasel, see you later, Kate. It was fun. Yep. <laughs> See you never. Okay, I'm bringing my compost bin over. Don't look in it. Don't. Don't look in it. <laughs> I'll put it up here. Can't look in my compost bin. I'll crack the eggies and then we'll mix those. And then we mix the milk in is what I usually do. Just easier to whip the eggs nicely first. Oh, a dunkle? We ha made a dunkle at the brewery once and we called it Crazy Uncle Dunkle and it was so dang good. Or maybe that was a Parallel 49 one actually. That's what it was. But yeah, I love dunkles. They're so flavorful. And it's just fun to say, honestly. <laughs> Haven't been to Costco in a long time, Bonk. Don't even know what they have there. They have good things that I like to buy. Not everything, but I definitely go there for certain things. I did notice the prices of fruits got like kind of jacked up this week when I went. It was cheaper for me to buy like a pack of blueberries from just a regular grocery store. So you just gotta also know the prices, right? 
Okay, we definitely want to season our eggs as well. I'm just going to give my hands a little rinse in the soapy water here. No bland egg is allowed, especially in this dish. The one there is the drunk uncle for the name? Funny. They have many, many things, right? <laughs> Always have these dreams of like just getting locked in Costco overnight. Nobody knows. <laughs> I don't know why that would be a fun thing. Yeah, you would have a membership and go, but the fridge is so small. Yeah, I will. I do remember that, like, even in Vancouver when we were there, our fridge was, like, kind of a half, half C of sorts or, like, a three-quarter size. We really had to watch how much stuff we bought at Costco. Otherwise, it wouldn't all fit, right? <laughs> Bring it to the restaurant, store it in the brewery fridge for a couple days. <laughs> Old style. I'm coming for, yeah, TwitchCon to San Diego. Are you there? Are you near there? We've been planning for like a couple weeks already, all the stuff I'm going to do, because I'll be there for a week. May or may not be with Samo, depending on his thing. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to say I got an update on him. Probably finished on the 15th at that camp. So that's like... We do this upcoming week and then another week and then Samo's back. Hi Kermit, how are you? Okay, let's pour our milk in. Yeah, Tika Sella, best place for meats and cheeses. Fruits and veggies are packed too large. Yeah, for one portion or even one person, sorry. You have a house there, but you're living in Long Beach? You need food recommends? Yes, please. Actually, if you're going to be hanging around for a bit while we're baking our casserole today, we're going to pop, sit down for a bit and do some more planning. Google Maps. I'm saving like everything onto my map because I'm going to be walking around there and streaming. 15th is when you're going camping. Where are you going, Greek? And yeah, you don't have your commercial freezer anymore, Bonk. Dang. Can't wait. Okay, so we just mix this up, eggs, milk, salt and pepper. And like she said, if you want some Italian seasoning, I think I'm gonna just go with maybe a little bit of Tony Satri's is good with eggs, like a seasoning sort of salt. I don't wanna go too crazy with the herbs. If anything, we can garnish with a little bit of fresh basil later. Maybe some Parmesan since we're going like Italian sausage-esque. Okay, there you go, milk dog. There's your container. For sure, some salt and pep though, on its own. You don't plan the camping trips. Just grab stuff, go in a direction. Oh, that's like what Rando and Finn do too. That's hilarious. Just like pull over where it feels good, right? Obviously in the correct place. So awesome. I'm getting very inspired about like tiny home living and stuff lately. I'm very pumped. Slowly but surely we're getting there. We got Squawk Box TV coming in. Thank you for the follow. Happy Sunday. Yeah, you got an off-road vehicle that can basically go anywhere. Exactly. Okay, so I'm doing like teaspoon of salt and then we'll do another little sprinkle just of some like seasoned salt cajun just do like one even layer over the eggs and that should be good gotta think about the potatoes are like pretty bland right just frozen hash browns we're also gonna season the veggies when we cook them too and then with the cheese, that should be good. And it is also bad when you make eggs too salty, I will say that. That is not good. Yeah, Tonus. You better believe I got that Tonus. Okay. Boom, leave the seasoning on the side for us. Okay, now we'll get our induction set up with a little frying pan. Whoa, did we just get a raid? 
Who's right in the fridge? It's Bird Portent. How's it going? Welcome in. Happy Sunday. We are cooking some easy brunch today, making a little hash brown breakfast casserole. How was your stream? Yeah, tiny bird raid, so cute. Hello, macaroon granola. Yum, that sounds good. Unnatural, welcome. You think that's a big Tony's? Crux, I'm gonna blow your mind. Where's this other thing? <laughs> You can thank Samo for this. You can thank the bear. <laughs> Let me tell you what's a big Tony. <laughs> Never a dull moment here, is it? <laughs> what did Bird Porton get up to on their stream today? Lamb shanks with orzo, slider buns, tortilla española with manchego, and chorizo. What? I want that. Let's trade. He used to get cat food in containers that big. <laughs> we have an addiction. So here's the thing. Being a Canadian, Tony's does not exist in the stores here. So instead of Sam ordering small amounts off of the internet for large amounts of money you buy a big amount for a less amount of money and then it just makes sense right it's a special order here in canada it's not not your typical seasoning about to start smelling good in here. How big a pan do I want? I think I'll choose the really big one. Biggest surface area will cook things nice and quick. How did you cook the lamb shanks? Did you like braise them in the oven or something? <laughs> Last time we did lunch, lamb shanks for stream, it was not okay. It was not okay. Are there any other American food items that don't exist in Canada that you order? Yeah. Um, what's the other one? Old Bay Spice is also another one that we have to order. So we do in this large amount. Uh, we used to use it quite a bit when we were on the island. Uh, we were, had some amazing fishermen friends that would bring over lots of fresh seafood. So seafood boils were a plenty there. It was awesome. I think that's pretty much it though. Braised in a Dutch oven, mirepoix, garlic, tomato sauce, beef broth. Yeah, rosemary, bay leaf. Only for two hours, that's crazy. And then you added orzo to it, oh word. So I like the orzo was like lamb flavored almost. Deadly. Okay, you can see this is a little bit unfinished here. I'm gonna just use some grapeseed oil to cook our veggies today. Let's go like medium high heat. I didn't buy olive oil at the store the other day because I was very mad at the price of it. So I said, no. <laughs> Probably should have just bought it. <laughs> I was like, I will not pay that amount. <laughs> Now I just don't have olive oil though, so dang. And we really win. Get a hot cloth too, because I know this handle of the pan will get hot. And let's grab a spoon for stirring. Crux, we call the Old Bay. I don't know if anyone else does this in America, but we call it Old Shui. <laughs> Okay, the garlic goes with the spinach, so we'll put that on the side. We have our salt and pepper here too still, so that's good. Ash browns are thawing. We're A-OK. -okay. 
Thank you, Ski Mask, for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, Zatarans? When I, this was my first job ever, was like being a, a stocking person in a grocery store. I remember seeing Zatarans back then in like the boxes, but I don't know now. I gotta check next time. Live in Maryland and that is prime Old Bay territory. You're all obsessed with it there. Yeah, like even our fisherman friend has like a not a good palate for spicy food, but he loved like when we did the crab boil for them in the Old Bay and like a little bit of Tony's mixed, loved it. So then what we did, we just like mixed a little bit of them each together, gave him a container when we left, right? Because if I know Zach, he's not going to go and buy that stuff for himself. <laughs> Are there any American snacks that you've only ever had in America? Uh, not really. Now that's a good question. Okay, let's pop these peppers in. We'll do the peppers first and then the shallots in a bit. Whoa, we got that sizzle. Maybe we'll even actually just throw this spinach in at the end. This is crazy right now. I think my favorite thing to always experience in like Western America when we visit is going to In-N-Out Burger. That's like my one obsession big time chat. Like I will straight up go once a day, maybe even sometimes <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> I am obsessed. I'm such a burger and pizza monster. But yeah, I'm not much of like a candy bar sort of person, right? That was so nice, those sizzles. Let's do a little sprinkle, I think. Season it up. Every stream yet. <laughs> oh, bonk. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Straight up one of my favorite meals like in the world. I don't know why. And the one like in Oceanside that we went to last time we were at TwitchCon was like one of the best ones ever. So I might just like take a train trip out there to go back to it. Go fishing on the pier or something. I definitely want to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to put the shallot in now. Don't really want the peppers to get too soggy, right? Where's my knife? No soggy peppers, just good flavor on there. Stir it up. And color equals flavor, right? Me too, yeah, Kermit. Like, as I've gotten older, I am just, like, not as much of a candy and chocolate fiend before. I used to be so obsessed with, like, ice cream, chocolate, just, like, love Reese's. But I think all of that changed when they started just, like, loading everything with sugar, though. Like, don't get me wrong, I love a chocolate. Just gotta be, like, higher quality now, I guess. Okay, probably just start squeezing in our garlics. One pan wonder. Need one more light on that. Looks like it. Press it and press it. The spinach will add lots of juiciness to the pan when we mix that in. Mm. Getting some brown in action. Such a good smell. Onion garlic sizzles or shallot garlic sizzles even. 
trying to make me cry a little bit. Let that go a couple more moments. We're gonna keep the heat really nice and high. And like I said, we'll take all this stuff out of here, put it just in a bowl, and we'll cook the sausage next. Give this a stir, I can tell it's browning. And as you cook out more of the moisture from the veggies, it's gonna brown quicker and quicker. So just be aware of that. Okay, I'm gonna toss the spinach in. Like I said, this is gonna add like probably a bunch of liquid to the pan when we mix it up. Saute it, cook out a bunch of the moisture because we don't want that in your egg mixture at all. No watery eggs allowed. Maybe I should have chopped the spinach leaves first. We committed now, so. <laughs> Ain't going back. Ooh, can you hear the pops, guys? I love that. Popping. Getting crazy. Sometimes I put a lid on to cook the spinach too, but the lid on this pan always just keeps so much moisture in and we're trying to get rid of that, so. Yeah, it should cook down to almost nothing. And then since we're like cutting this into squares later to serve, the spinach should get like cut down, right? Just sometimes I find when you like cook spinach like this, it can get a bit like stringy and hard to eat. But I think with everything else, it'll be great. Okay, we'll let that go one moment. Just grab a bowl. Then you can start scooping it out. Yeah. Hey, Matthew. How's it going? Fresh veggies. Turn that off for now. Otherwise, it's just going to keep smoking and going crazy. So, yeah, no residual, like, liquid in the pan. That's exactly what we want. You really sizzled it. I love cast iron. I've been like such a, a kick of just putting spinach cooked into stuff. And, like you don't really notice it's even there. Gotta pour this out. Okay, so next we'll put a little bit more oil in before we do the sausage. Just so it doesn't like burn. Bit more grape seed. The sausage is a touch fatty, so I won't put too much oil there. That away. Bring this over. I'll wipe all this stuff off of my spoon. Everything got really caramelized. The color of the shallot looks so good. Yeah, this will still be pretty hot, right? So it shouldn't take too long before we can start cooking again. I always wanted a can of spinach as a kid to be like Popeye, yeah. Is it sizzling? What is sizzling? Okay. So spread out all your little nubbins that we made out of the casings. Mm. And we're gonna let that go for a bit. Kind of give it like a little press so it sears. We're not gonna stir it right away. Actually, should get rid of that bowl now. That's smelling good. I am in. Okay, I think we'll have to grease a pan as well for baking this, right? You definitely don't want it to stick at all. So maybe I'll work on that while we're waiting on this. Okay. 
get the Lloyd pen. I think I'm gonna actually like go around with butter in it. Go get a nub. Cooker dog. You guard in the fridge? Nice. It's okay. You're good there. Yeah. Yeah. Butter is better. Mmm. Basily smells. Tasty basil smells. Maka, how's it going? We're going to stir this in a moment. It is sizzling and happy. Tasty pork bits. Let's see. We're we getting some browning. Yeah, yeah. That is exactly what I wanted. Caramelization equals flavor. Let it go again. Mmm. On the side, I'm just like rubbing this nub of butter around that I cut. the pan. Whoa! The sausage just really started to spit. It got me all the way over here. Like, I'm way over. <laughs> Watch your face! Now we're cooking. I want to go all the way up the edges of the pan as well. Hi, Crash Crew! It's been forever! How are you? Welcome, welcome in! Okay, now we got extra butter. Butter nubbins. I might just throw it into the egg mix. I also love breakfast too. I always say that's like my favorite meal. But I don't just like like breakfast for breakfast though. I also like breakfast for dinner and lunch. All of the above. Okay, I'm coming back over. I was just washing my hands. I got all buttered up. Butter yourself. Oh, you had COVID. Little man head injury on top of normal <laughs> BS. But you're all good? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Everyone's A-OK. -okay. It does happen like that, doesn't it? all at once, hey? We had a pretty crazy summer too. Yeah, been doing lots of changes. I'm living the uh, long distance wife life. And honestly, it's not been that bad. I thought it would be way worse. Jay from Belgium. I like breakfast because I can just pour cereals in my bowl, drown them with milk, and get away with it. That counts too. Anything counts, Jay. Breakfast for dinner watermelon was always my fave. Mom's like, what do you want for dinner? I was like, breakfast. Ouch! Careful, it might get you. <laughs> Fun and insane all at the same time. I told, that's like the best way to describe it. Yeah. You had to do long distance for six months with your wife? Yeah, it wasn't terrible, but like some days it just like moments sucked, right? It's like, I really miss my human that I love, but I'll keep waiting. Hey, Days Atomic. Yeah, technology, right? Like, we're so thankful. Like, even all the way up there, we can still talk to each other basically every day. Ha 
No mod yet for Maka? Only if he wants it. <laughs> okay, this is almost done. I'm like, I'm mostly just trying to sear this because it should like cook the rest of the way in the eggs, right? So I think we're almost there. See a couple nubbins that are like still raw, but like I said, that's okay. It's all gonna get cooked through. Just trying to get the most amount of flavor. Oh no, it's looking so good, hey bong? Very nice and browned. You're on a break from your cook today. Oh, burnt ends, yes please. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. That sounds delish. We have not really used the grills too often. Well, I guess I did use the Traeger all last week to make a bunch of jerky. So much jerky in my life. Okay, so just move this over. We're gonna reserve that from the pan. Up to you. Like, this is probably tasty fat. <laughs> probably save that for yourself to cook with after. And that's also another reason why I didn't buy olive oil this week. Because I did wanna see if I just keep the random fats around rendered from meats that I cook, if I can get away with like not buying as much oil anymore. Cause that's getting expensive. And like, I've noticed that my body doesn't mind animal fats. It's almost better even. Something to think about. Oh, sausage biscuits and gravy with this, yeah. Mmm, -hmm. it would like flavor anything, right? Okay, just going to take away all this hot mess. And I think we start assembling the casserole, so we'll turn on the oven. That was easy. You leave most of it when you cook? Like what you mean? You like leave it out, but then do you save it after? Like I'm gonna pour that into a container and pop it in the fridge so I can use it. It'd also be really tasty, I think, to like roast veggies with it. That's true. Yeah, the Inuit only live on animal meat and a fat and like a very small amount of foraged things. And they are fine. Oh, nice. Yeah, Weasel, like you reuse the fat. Good one. Okay, so maybe we'll toss this all up just a little bit more evenly. So sausage, peppers, shallot, garlic, and a little bit of spinach because we care about our health, don't we? Sometimes we pretend like we don't, but we do. Okay, last thing I gotta do. This was the only sad thing I got. One <laughs> moldy spot, but we will shred up some cheese. What, like two cups worth? Is that what we're calling for here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she says divided, wait. So we probably put some in and then some on top. So one and a half cups in the casserole, half a cup left for sprinkling on top. Whoa, <laughs> can you tell there's a fan on in here? <laughs> okay, so first thing we will do, just trim that. Trim that scary little bitly off of there. Mold, gone. That's impressive though. That's the only spot it got. I'm not even mad. Okay, so two cups worth of shredded cheese. Probably end up like there. Used up a good amount. We really did like clean out the fridge this weekend with our menus. Super satisfying. 
Okay, so since it was moldy in that plastic, let's not reuse it, right? Oh gosh, I almost forgot. A cheese dog. Sorry. Here. <laughs> Wait, she's like a snapping turtle. <laughs> yeah, to your good health. Cheers. <laughs> Good cheese dog. Yeah. Okay, I'll shred that up. Maybe we will cut it down a little bit more. So this is like an old age cheddar. It's got a bit of funk. Got that flavor. Yeah, she is a very good supervisor and auntie companion to Sam, I won't need a doggo until we leave this place because she is very good. She literally does not leave my side until it's her dinner time. <laughs> oh yeah, Weasel, how did that go? Was it awesome being a dog dad for a bit? Or dog uncle rather? Everyone really could use a bit of funk. Yeah, right? The way we like spoil nieces, nephews. It's funny. Aww. You were sad when he didn't jump in the bed on Sunday. You're like, it's our last day. Come on. Come on, buddy. Last day for loving. That was like, so Astra like for sure knew Sam was leaving because she refused to say bye to him. Like he tried to say bye to her before he left the day before because we left at like 4 a.m. to the airport and she just like ran away from him. She's just like, no. Not dealing with it. <laughs> yeah, we know the feeling, right? <laughs> no, uncle. They know. Those doggos, they know. Okay, we might have more than two cups of cheese. Are we mad at that though? This bowl of sausage nubbins in front of me is just like making me want to eat it. Yeah, you drop him back off and he just like wants to go back with you. <laughs> Never gonna be the same again. You bonded. That was way more than two cups of cheese. Oops. Okay, I'll pack it into the measuring cup and we'll see. <laughs> it's like double. Oopsies. We might have to take some of that away. There is. There's like a slight cheese limit, I will say, when you're adding like too much cheese to stuff, it sometimes just won't work out. So I I heaped it for you guys, but we're gonna put the rest of this away. <laughs> Greek, happy accidents. Oops, I shred too much cheese. Better to have too much than not enough. And then we'll do this too. Cheese sprinkles, I call them. Ready? Cheese sprinkle. Nice, right in there. Yeah, would you like some eggs and chorizo with your cheese? Some snassage. Okay, I think that was the last thing. And then what, probably we can do some sliced green onion later to sprinkle over the top when we eat it. Tear some basil to match it up with the sausage. Okay, so 350 Fahrenheit is the temp that this bakes at. I'll have to put an oven rack in here. I did a big scrub of the oven last night. It felt really nice.
All the cheese should go in there. That's the perfect vessel I can't, Blood Oak. It's like literally double. The casserole like would not stay together. <laughs> Don't make me do it. <laughs> Don't. You guys are bad. Okay, what do we do? What's what's our first step here? What does she say? <laughs> Always need mo cheese. Whenever you guys act like that, I always think you're like the little cheese thumbs up emote that I got. That's you guys right now. Just like, yeah, more cheese. Place hash browns, sausage, onion, pepper, cheese in the baking pan. Spread it evenly. Pour the eggs over. Sprinkle remaining cheese on top. And then I'll probably cook it with foil for the first part just to get some steam happening and it helps cook the eggs through. And then we'll take the foil off near the end to get the cheese nice and browned and crispy. I heckin' love cheese, guys. Yeah, Dr. Ever tries to tell me to cut back on cheese. No, no. How much hash browns though? Because this is like a straight kilo. Seems like a lot. Twenty ounces. Hey Siri, what is twenty ounces in grams? It's five hundred sixty-six. So half, just over half of this. Then, good thing I checked. Ah, we almost lost the potatoes. Cheese will literally, yeah, be the death of me. You Mel, happy Sunday. You made it. How was it? <laughs> yeah, agree. It's perfect, Kate. Put it all and then you can add the cheese. That's just over half. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Drug math. What, you don't know what an ounce is? I'm not doing the rest of the math, though to add up all of the ounces and grams. Okay, next, pour this in. Whoa. Mmm, the smells? And we did butter the pan first, too. Before we poured all this in. What a friggin' awesome rebound for the weekend. Nice. So it was a good one then. What did you make today? Mmm. The fat from all this is like coating the taters too. Yeah, I don't think this will stick. Okay, so we really want to be sure of how we have this laid out. Make sure all the sausage is spread out nicely and everything. One nice even layer before we pour the eggs. I'm just going to sprinkle... Or actually, no, we should mix the cheese in, right? Do, do, do. Leave that for the top. Because otherwise it'll just float up to the top and you'll just have all of it on the top. Mix that goodness in too. Is this going to be my new favorite breakfast meal prep thing? I don't know how healthy it is. If you eat healthy the rest of the day, though, I guess. This would be so satisfying in the morning. Give it a little press. Nice. Clean all that off. Rinse my hands. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna put any more seasoning yet. 
I think I would like to bake it first and then see how we did. Because we really like quite heavily seasoned the eggs. If you guys are wondering what the nubs are, that's just a little bit of extra butter from when we lined the pan. We greased it up. Thought I would just nub those up and those will bake in nicely. Yeah, kitchen sink breakfast casserole. Basically bonk. Awesome ratio, I will say that. Get that spread out, that. Get your butters around. Get all that pepper in there. Yeah, hum. They loved it no matter how you made it, Funky. You used to make this for your kiddos. Yeah, like they said, ham, bacon, like turkey, sausage. You could really get creative. Any like leftover meats that you have around. Okay, so you just gotta foil that, pop her in. Really not much dishes from this either. It was so dang easy. Oh, you wanna be the cheese container cleaner, okay. Huevos Rancheros with home cured bacon for fun. Nice, you Mel. Hi, JK. Yeah, love it because it's one pan. It's so easy. Sweet. Nice work. Everyone loved it then, hey? This is gonna be good. <laughs> I love that weasel. I actually got a soup question, if I'm allowed to ask. You're always allowed to ask. <laughs> it just depends on how sassy I'm feeling, what answer you're going to get. Please, feel free to ask away. <laughs> I love answering your guys' questions because I usually learn a little bit from it too, right? Okay, so we only use like three mixing bowls, a whisk, a spoon, a grater, and the garlic press. And then this pan we're baking in. That was easy. Wait for the oven to heat up a bit more while we wait. Do we want some parmy shreds to go on top? This is left over from HelloFresh. We wanna sprinkle that over the top after with the green onion and basil. This light is really bright now. Yes? Get your cheese fix, Greek. Okay, we'll leave that then. I like the yes. It's better than yeah. <laughs> Yush. Okay, so I'll grab the green onion next then, I guess, while we're waiting. Pop these other couple things away. Put an elastic on my extra hash browns. Hello, Mickey. It's okay, don't be sorry you're late. You were clothes shopping? What, did you buy some fancy stuff? Wanna make chicken soup, Weasel, but your question is, should you make the chicken, or sorry, should you brown the chicken up first? Normally just toss it all in the pot, cook it, but the chicken always looks so blah. You can, 
Yeah, you can like slightly roast the chicken or sear it first and then make the stock from there. You will get a bit of a deeper flavor. It's really dependent on what you want though. Yeah, a lot of times I'll just throw chicken in a pot with water, right? And make a stock from that. But like you said, then the chicken is like quite bland looking. You can also do it this way if you want the chicken a bit more browned in the soup is like just make the stock from the bones and scraps and then like cook the chicken on the side in a pan or in the oven and then add it to the soup after. Things to think about. Yeah, good papa. I really loaded this fridge up this week. I have no idea what the heck I've done in here. Absolute mess. Green onion. Two green onion sprigs. How hot is this oven? Is it time? If you make Thai style chicken, they brown, almost burn everything first. Makes good color, adds a lot of roasting flavor in the soup. Nice. Google gave you so many answers that you didn't like. Did we help you, Weasel? I hope so. Okay, oven's hot and ready. We're going in. Let's do 30, I wanna do 30 minute timer? Yeah, let's do 30 minute timer and then we'll probably take the foil off after that and let it start to brown up. Okay, just gonna wipe my knife from the cheese and then we will slice up this green onion. I'll go pick a sprig of basil for us. And then if there's a little bit extra time, we can do some San Diego planning and chatting. You're gonna make the soup instead of the rice bowl. Nice one. I'm glad we inspired you. Went into a kitchen shop selling all kitchen things. You thought of me? What was like a cool thing that you saw, if you remember? This is like the cleanest the kitchen's ever been in here for a stream. It's almost unbelievable. Pick off those dried ends here. Funky, a hey, nice tier two friend. Thank you for that. Is that cause of the September? Thanks for the 16 months being part of the kitchen crew. You saw a veg chopper? Cool, Mickey. I'm sure I could use that. Okay, just trimming these tops here that are a bit discolored. And then we'll slice this up nice and fine. Sometimes there's a bit of dirt here too. Cut that off. That helps, I love that. Thank you so much. You wish you bought the veggie chopper now? Yeah, our sub count still is super high for the month. I'm very happy about that. I'm your favorite strummer. I am actually honored considering like <laughs> how big of a platform Twitch is. That's crazy. You saw a coffee maker for 400 pounds? Better be a dang good coffee maker, hey?
Bam. We'll just pop that into a small container. Yeah, there is tons of streamers. There's actually a lot of partners, Greek. They like, they really made a bunch like during COVID. So if you look now, like I think there's probably, what, over a million? No. There's five guys in the UK. I didn't know that. There's 27,000 Twitch partners of 2 million broadcasters. There we go. Yeah, right? Like 27,000 compared to 2 million. I'm excited to go to TwitchCon and like get to experience it differently as a partner this year. That'll be so new. Still never tried it? You have one seven minutes away? I mean, we know this about chains. Not every single one is good. It really depends on who is working there, right? So like the one that we have near us here is like banging. So I'm so happy that Sam brought me there for like my first Five Guys experience because we love it. But yeah, we've heard like some other locations in the city not so good. So I guess kind of have to know. Okay, so that's our garnish. I'm just gonna go pop out. I'm not gonna mute because I'm not going too far. I'll go grab a little bit of basil. Yeah, yeah, do some networking. Exactly, Greek. I'll be brave on my own. I got this. After all these years, I deserve to do it for myself. Yeah, basil and eggs is yummy. Also, dill and eggs is good. Whoa, you did sneak out with me. Nice. It is Yakult. Basil's popping. This one have a spider in it. The spider is protecting my basil plant for sure. Greek, I wanna ask since you're here, are your spiders crazy there this year? Cause we've had a crazy amount of spiders here compared to last year. Look at our beautiful basil. It's beautiful. So we'll just pop that in there. That's our garnish. Maybe I'll just put a little lid on there so it doesn't get dried up and shriveled. Yeah, the way that they do the fries at Five Guys, like we always get a large Cajun fry to share. They will literally, they'll put the thing of fries in the bag and then like dump a full other order just loose in the paper bag. It's like, what? That is way more than a large order. JK, you think Five Guys is overrated? Burgers are nothing to go out of the way for? What kind of milkshake did you get by the way, Mickey? If you go out to eat, you get a burger. That's like typically us too. One of the favorite things that we like to get. And yeah, it is true, Bonk. Price for burgers is ridiculous. Wait, what are they charged there? What are they charging in America? Wife and you went to Firehouse Subs yesterday. That was good. Sweet. Always fun to like find new spots, right? <laughs> Weasel, I know what you're talking about. I just killed a wolf spider in the bathroom this morning. We got a massive here too. In your booty crawl though? Randall's been dealing with them in the tiny house too. One morning, scrolling on his phone in bed. Spider literally crawls onto the phone. Just whip it at the freaking ceiling. Like what the heck? Get our plates ready. We'll do one plate and one bowl with the rim. And then we'll probably need, what, a spatula? 
What kind of sub did you get it from the sub spot? I was gonna say sub spots are hit and miss, but like basically everywhere is hit or miss, right? This, I'll use this for cutting it. Big issue, there's been bees. Yellow jackets, they're everywhere. So not really bees then. You're saying rather yellow jackets. Cause I've noticed, I, I'm pretty sure I have seen more dead bees this year than actual alive ones. And if that doesn't ensue panic, <laughs> I don't know what does. Ooh, chipotle chicken sub, nice. Chipotle. Seven to eight bucks, that's it? That is cheap, Bonk. Pretty sure we're paying like $14 for ours? Oh, it doesn't say the prices online. But yeah, it's way more than that. Okay, so it will be around 14 once we convert it. Yeah, because our dollar I looked the other day was like a buck 30. I was like, wow. <laughs> Canada, eh? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, it is probably higher now. You're right. A guy in Ohio pruning a tree sliced into a nest of Americanized killer bees, or, or did you mean to say Americanized? Sung them literally 10,000 times. Whoa. Yeah, that's terrifying. I have noticed the yellow jackets here this year, but spiders have been taking a pretty good care of them. They're just like hovering everywhere this year. Definitely more like small bugs around though, I would say. So that's why the yellow jackets aren't as annoying because they're happy. They're fed. They're not starving. I uh, don't know if anyone noticed, but look at my beautiful slicer I cleaned up last night. And then, then after I cleaned and then it dried, I massaged all the stainless with like mineral oil. So now it's just like literally shining. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, how long do we have? We still have 20 minutes. I think I'm going to go switch this up. Go turn on Samo's comp find some San Diego foods. I think my phone will work still. Oh, now that it has the emergency alert, I wonder actually. It should still be okay. Turning on. What's everyone doing for the rest of the day? Looks nice except the fingerprints. Where? <laughs> you just bugging me. Africanized. Okay. Yeah, good one, Frank. Tip a tip. Hang a brown paper bag near the roof. The wasp will think it's another nest and they won't go near it. It's true. Hey, nice, Mickey. You're on holidays. Drinking a red wine? Much more defensive than other varieties of honeybees. React to disturbances faster. They will chase a person a quarter mile. Those sound very mean. Those are the meanest bees I've ever heard of. Thank you for all the info, Bonk. 
Nice, JK, going for a walk, enjoying the long weekend, and doing nothing tomorrow. I like that. Whew. Okay, let's go over there. I think this is all set up. They're the bitchiest of all bees. Yeah, the giant Asian ones are crazy, too. The stuff we have here is like nothing. Hey, look, it all worked. This is nuts. Woohoo. Okay, we have like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, I'll pop up some chat skis here. Bam. Okay, so do we do this? If I just take this away. Just write San Diego. Will it show us all the stars that we have already? It doesn't. How do we get the stars to show up? I'm signed in. Is there a set in over here? Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. And that's actually crazy how close Tijuana is. Wow. Like, literally down the road. What? Okay, so we always, like, kind of work away from here. Because this is where TwitchCon's gonna be. And I'm like staying way, way up there. I'm not gonna show you guys where I'm staying just for privacy purposes. <sighs> Punch bowl. Okay, what was the place that Bonk found? The Lumpia factory? Gas lamp, that's the one. Bonk. Is my chat broken or are you guys just being quiet? My chat was broken. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Whoa, it looks so fancy. Mmm. There's so many different kinds. We're here, okay. Yeah, it was my thing that was broken. And I've never, like, had pansit. Or pansit. So I would like to try that, too. Mm, adobo. I wonder if they make it with like pork belly. Kalua pork too. Bonk. I've never really had this kind of stuff. Yeah, I am not opposed to it for breakfast either. <laughs> Pansit. What's lumpia? Basically, like, yeah, the best egg roll ever. So for five pieces, it's only nine bucks. Start the car. <laughs> Listen to this, their beer menu, they have a blood orange beer on draft. That would be so delicious. Okay, we gotta go there. I'm glad we saved that one. And like, it's not it's like so close to the convention center, right? Wait, where is it? Or no, it's farther. Yeah, no, it's like literally right there. Just walk down the street. Okay, so we'll go there for breakfast and then go to TwitchCon, perfect. Meat, a little bit of carrot, cabbage. Sometimes they have like little noodles in there, right? The little glass noodles. Sometimes at a spot, I've also had it with like a bit of sweet potato too. It made it so nice. What do you do at TwitchCon? Uh, TwitchCon is like, I don't know. Do we want to just have a TwitchCon chat? Then I have to go back over there. We can do that. Since you guys want to know. And then I can also tell you this weasel, actually. 
is we streamed some of it. So let me see if I can find the VOD, if it was uploaded to YouTube, because you can see what it looks like inside in 2019. But obviously, TwitchCon, it's a convention for streamers, uh, viewers alike, right? Anything that is involved in streaming as a service, so tech companies, gaming companies, stuff like that. Yeah, watch panels, shop for different equipment. Like last time we were there, we looked at my Go XLR mixer because it was just getting released, played around with it, and we're like, yeah, that's going to work. So we picked that up after. So yeah, it was cool. And then uh, last time I was there, I was an affiliate. So this will be really different for me. They have like a partner's sort of lounge that's separate from everyone. So lots of networking as well. Go to Breakfast Republic Athletic. Have you been? Yeah. Lumpia, fancy name for spring rolls. Well, not really a fancy name. It's from uh, the origin of the cuisine. <laughs> it's properly called that <laughs> in the country. Like what? Last time, this was a fun thing we did at TwitchCon too. They had when like PUBG was massive, right? In 2019. So Samo went to the PUBG booth and they had a contest. So remember PUBG, you had the frying pan in the game. So the contest was to hold a frying pan out like this for as long as possible. And whoever won, like got a thing. Maybe you got like a free game of PUBG or something. I don't remember, but it was so intense. <laughs> it's just like fun, random stuff like that. Lots of like energy drink companies were set up there too, which is not really like my jam, but cool for sponsorships. Yeah, exactly, Frank. Same, same, but different. PUBG, you only played it like twice? Oh, we loved that game. I mean, I didn't play it, but Sam loved it when it first came out. And he's very good at that type of game too. So he would just destroy people. <laughs> okay, Athletics, I go to Breakfast Republic. Let's go back there then. We have a thing to search for. Oh, I didn't realize my camera was like way out of whack too. Gotta go like that way. What was it? The breakfast factory? Oh, Breakfast Republic. <laughs> I was like, hello, I have chat right here in front of me. Oh, there's so many. Is that better? I know usually I sit like back here, but I'm too pumped right now. I'm not sitting far back enough. Have I played Multiversus? No. Thanks, Weasel. I've never played Multiversus. What's this spot? Breakfast, Republic, fun spot for inventive breakfast place, or plates plus craft beer and cocktails. Cool, let's check it out. And you do want to go to the Broken Yolk? Look at this cute spot. That'd be cool to stream at. Clucking good breakfast. Excellent. <laughs> Is that Shakshuka? You're just being random because you saw the map? I will allow this. I'm in. Summer specials? I love peach. Peaches and cream pancakes? Iced coconut caramel latte? Has anyone been to the World Butchers Championships? No. But I have been wanting to go to the World Pizza. I, I don't think it's championship. It's just convention in Vegas. Yeah, World Pizza convention in Vegas. It's something that's on our bucket list still. We're going to eat so much good food, I know. And thank you to everyone who has contributed a little bit of bit.ly's to that fund. 
You better believe I love a Benedict in the morning. But look, shrimp and grits, Gouda cheese infused grits, shrimp cooked with clucking good hot sauce and so it's spicy, fresh corn, chives. With three eggs, I couldn't even finish that. The World Pizza Convention, I mean, there probably is one in Italy, especially for like Neapolitan pizza, but the main one is in Vegas. Broken yolk in Vegas twice? Okay, I'm definitely saving this one. So I'll just show you what I usually do when I am like planning to go somewhere is I save this. Create a list for yourself of where you're going, San Diego. Perfect. Next one, broken yolk. Like, I'll probably go to these places a little bit later in the day. What I like to usually do when I travel is, like, always get a studio or somewhere with, like, just a small kitchen. Breakfast is expensive to eat out straight up, like, as your first meal. So usually it's cheaper to make breakfast first at the hotel. Get yourself set up with all good stuff for the day, and then you're just like, go free for all afterwards. Is this it? Oh, this is here. Silly. They're trying to rip off in Canada. <laughs> I'm getting there, Bong. <laughs> it's this one. Silly Canada. Healthy side up. Not for me. Like, this is what I would not eat out. A bowl of steel cut oats. That's not what I would choose. Eggies. Oh, there it is. Chicken fried steak. Breakfast craves. Oh, Betty's Southern Biscuit and Gravies, Monte Cristo, Skillets. Oh, Fried Chicken Benny. Hello. Home fries, hash browns. Oh, I like all the options. Mexican rice or beans even. You can choose two Benedicts, get half of each one. That's money. I would do that. Yeah, are we there yet, Frank? We got four minutes. Sopes? What? This place is cool, Bonk. Thanks for suggesting that. South of the border. I love a good plate of huevos, I will say. Look it, it's Maca. Where's Maca at? Wait. Machaca. Mmm, <laughs> breakfast burrito. I do like to test how others make their breakfast burrito because a lot of times it is banging. Mm. Even chorizo breakfast tacos, though. This place has it all. Has anyone ever had lemon ricotta pancakes? I've always wanted to make those and try them. What? They make tiki toast out of King's Hawaiian bread? Holy. This is just something else. It just keeps going. Yeah, a michelada. Okay, we'll save that one. That's a good one. Bam. Bam. Sweet. You had the machaca? <laughs> Shame they don't have a Timmy's. I wouldn't even go to Timmy's in America. Maybe just as like a meme to my own self. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys back over there. I'm getting excited to pull out this casserole and have a peek. I think it's cooking quick. Let's do this. Got our little garnish there. Put a trivet. Yeah, this is nice, Mickey. You don't have to leave us. Are you staying up late?
yummies. It's smelling really good. Smelling really good. Holy, that's transforming. Oh, there's barely any jiggle left in the center. We're almost there, chat. I'm gonna set like 10 minutes left. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't stick. You're hungry? I'm getting there. Trev, where the heck have you been, my dude? How are you? Can't make something cheesy, Kate, and not invite me? You guys know you're always invited. The door is open. Just walk in. I'd be more than happy to see you. <laughs> Just wanted to make a Canadian joke. I will tell you this. Sam let me know this the other day when we were chatting. Okay, Bonk, before I start my story, have a wonderful day. Hope the musical is good and not like too weird and funny, even though that's always enjoyable too. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow doing our Monday menu plan, maybe a bit more of San Diego stuff since that's coming up quick, and then cat gaming. I'll be here. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a longer stream since people have the day off. Yeah, have fun. Bye, friend. Stay safe out there. Oh, right, Trev. Yeah, homeschooling started. I mean, I can't say I feel ya because I don't do that, but I understand. Yeah, you're busy teaching. Been sharpening your knives, though. That's good. Okay, so in the most northern part of Canada, maybe we should actually look at this on the map together over there. I will show you where there is a Tim Hortons. <laughs> it is called Alert in none of it in Canada. And that is like the most northern military base as well. But in a sea can lives a Tim Hortons. <laughs> so let's keep zooming out and you'll be able to see where exactly this is. Sam also has an option to possibly go up there and work. So that's where it is. I can't even zoom out more. It literally won't let me. But if we go all the way over here, I'm like here. And then this is where alert is. This is all Greenland. But yeah, that is as far north. That's like literally the North Pole. We live here. <laughs> What's really cool is actually Sam's dad has been there before for like a little stint when he was still serving. So that'd be really cool if Sam can like go experience it, not in the military. Yeah, there's like a grocery store there even, he said. What an experience. Okay, I am so excited to eat this casserole. Six minutes left. And then I was looking at our menu queue for stream here with your guys' pots and pans channel points. We've got some tasty stuff still to make coming up. Is iShot still in here? They requested a South African dish. That's really intriguing to me. Baboti. And something else. Cool, that looks easy. Might have to bite the bullet on a meat slicer. Nothing fancy like this though. This, like I can't even believe we got this in our life, Trev. That's a one-off for sure. For sure. That thing found us, I would say. We didn't find it. 
But yeah, it's it's worth it. I mean, you'll probably want to spend a couple hundred bucks. Like, don't get one that's just like a hundred bucks. I would not suggest that. It will probably break. And like the blade will just be a piece of poop, right? It'll just get dull all the time. So yeah, spend a bit more, but you don't have to get anything crazy like that. Might also be worth it though. You could luck out at like a auction. You never know. Watch those too, right? Cause like if you're the only one that sees this and you bid on a crazy slicer for like 200 bucks, you never know much what you might get. It is handy though. I put this thing to work this week. I sliced up four eye of rounds and made a big batches of jerky for our friend. And yeah, that too, right? If you have a bunch of kids that love sandwiches, like spending money, paying someone else to slice your meat for you gets old, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it's way cheaper just to buy like the log is what we call it and slice it yourself. So true. Yeah, you got to become like your own deli, basically. Trev's like, Trev's the teacher. He's the lunch lady. He's everything. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. The price now. And it's not like the quality has gotten better for what it is. It's almost gotten worse, right? Frank says, I bet not many Americans know that Greenland is actually Danish. I don't even know if I knew that. Little bit of bubbles just in the center there. Actually, I'm going to take a really quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. Mish says, Danada. Do we want to like maybe temp it? That's a good way to know if the eggs are cooked. I think I'm going to check on it. I think we're good, chat. Yeah, that came out clean. Turn that baby off. That didn't take as long as they said it would. And that's also what I thought would happen. 30 minutes with the foil on is usually like the perfect amount of time to basically get it all cooked through. Take the foil off, let it cook a bit on top. Good to go. But we will definitely let that rest a couple moments out of the oven before we cut into it. Let everything kind of set up. Oh, the, the greasy bubbles along the edges are something else. You only know that Greenland is the icy place and Iceland is the warm one. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like opposite. Whoa-wee, whoa, though. That looks great. 
I'm gonna take a photo of it like this. Gotta grab my phone now. So we are done with this here. Man, the fire smoke is getting worse today. I need to take a peek at that map too. It's like really strong smells now. Yuck. Man, there is, I didn't realize there was so many dang fires in the States right now. So that's why it's all going up where we are. Sheesh. Good with a fistful of crackers and the entire contents of the pan. You would just like dip it. <laughs> just eat it as a dip. That freaking turned out though. Like, whoa. Top down looks so good. The cheese, the cheese sheen, basically. Sure my lens is good. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting around the outside edge as this cools off. Nice, it got a little bit like crispy. Let us pray that there's nothing stuck on the bottom. That was a nice one. Like, there should have been more than enough fats in here, right? How's the water situation? Uh, watering the lawn still allowed? I don't know, because we don't do it here. And, like, a lot of our neighbors on the block don't do it, Frank. But I think, yeah, just, like, remembering driving around, I have seen people's sprinklers out on their lawns, which is just ridiculous. We should really be like using the water for more important things than making grass green in front of your house. We're cutting a big square, I would say. Cutting very nice. There we go. Okay, I'll just go through one more now to be sure. Okay, let's do this. I'll just move this over. The first one is always the hardest to get out, right? It's always the worst one to try and get out. Also turn the light on because it'll balance better. Oh, so dang bright now. Sweet. Literally nothing stuck. Just need to get my spatula under it without really destroying it too much. <laughs> this will be my broskies. Holy! Okay, so it, maybe it stuck a little bit right there. I didn't see that. But that is not bad. That came out pretty nice and clean. And now that like we got that one loosened... Should be able to get this sun out nice and clean. As the chef, yeah, you do your first piece. That's fair though. Like you're dealing with kids and stuff there, Trev. I don't have any of that sort of exterior stress. Only stress is what I put on myself, really. That really turned out and like it doesn't look too dry. I'm gonna have a little nubbin. Mm. 
Okay, we're gonna sprinkle some parm on top just because we can. This chat was being extra cheesy today. And then we sliced up. I don't think I'm actually gonna put the basil. I don't know. What do you guys feel? We sliced up green onions, though. I will sprinkle that over top. That's really yummy with all these breakfasty items. Like a fair serving of those two. They're not too strong a flavor. Basil's too fancy for this. It feels odd. <laughs> One more photo for the gram. That's a hash brown breakfast casserole. Nice, the parm is like starting to slowly melt on the top. That looks good. Okay, I'll be right back. Just gonna go drop that off. That was easy. Yeah, aqueduct, that'd be cool. Oh, I gotta mute this really quick. Okay, one sec. We have returned with a cooker dog. Still a little bit hot, but I'll take this away for now. That is a lot of food left over, hey? That's a meal prep breakfast for sure. I really think it's gonna turn out good. Yum. The way that cut through that's great i think this is gonna be way filling than i thought too all the potatoes in there it's a really big bite mm. the basil in the sausage is money i don't know what lighting is better honestly can't decide here today. That's good, Frank. Really hot. I will say like the most important thing for me when making this, it's like perfectly seasoned. The potatoes don't taste bland. You taste all the different flavors that we popped in there. I'm not feeling like we need extra salt, which is awesome. Like I find when everything is perfectly seasoned, you taste more of everything rather than just like a couple different flavors. And the potatoes are like perfectly cooked. Still have like a little bit of structure to them. Look, a little potato cube still, but like still melt in your mouth. It 
If you're a ketchup person with eggs and stuff, that would probably be good with this too. Titan, get your plate and come over because we have so much. I didn't cut down the recipe, but that's because I wanted extra of this because I knew it would be yummy to eat. Yeah, salt the flavor enhancer. That turned out so freaking good. I'm really happy we chose to make this today and it was nice and easy. Didn't heat up the kitchen too much either. What'd you get up to today, Titan? Look at that bite. Open up. Yes, that would be good too, Trev. I uh, put a bit too much hot sauce on my tacos yesterday. <laughs> so I'm, I'm leaning away from the spice today. <laughs> Yeah, if you come and eat, you won't leave. That's okay, that's allowed. As long as you help out in other places. Mmm. They're hot. But that sausage is lovely. Wow. Yeah, I'm in. I'm happy. There's a little bit of fennel in the sausage too, which is like my fave. An Italian sausage. Do we got fennel haters here? Some people say Italian sausage is the worst because it's got fennel in it. Busy today getting a place ready to plant fall greens. Nice one. All different like sorts of brassicas and stuff. You like fennel? Me too. It took me a while though in my life to really enjoy it in like specific things. But I like it now. A little itchy there. Yeah, the salsicha forever. Exactly. Frank knows. Don't hate it, but you don't buy it because you can never use a whole bulb. Oh, you're talking about like the fresh stuff. Yeah. I don't use fresh fennel a ton either. I used it more when I was on the coast because it goes really nice with different fish and seafoods. But more I use like just the fennel seed here. And yeah, it's mostly just if I'm like making sausage or something like that. Fennel is also really good for digestion too. Good for the belly. Oh, fun. I think I know where we're gonna go raid. This looks fun. Or actually, I know where, I know where we're going. Okay, so we're wrapping up chat. Quick and easy Sunday. How does that happen in only two hours? Haven't had fennel in a while, days. You need to get some. Good for the belly. I had it like for sure the most when I was young in Italy. I think that's where I had, because like before you eat, you're sitting at the table and there's just like this plate of fresh fennel to munch on. It's like, so then you just like went for it, right? Cause you didn't know what it was. And yeah, it was good. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Chef Negan is at the Greek festival today. That looks really fun. The thumbnail looks awesome. But I will say this though. Someone who's near and dear to my heart, Claire Coffee. It's her birthday today, so I think we're gonna go raid Claire instead. Celebrate her date of birth and spread the deliciousness and love that way. So friends, thanks for the awesome weekend of cooking. I will be back tomorrow since that's our new Monday thing, is planning the menu for the weekend. I'm just shutting these lights off because this is ridiculous in here. And then we will do maybe a little bit more San Diego planning tomorrow too. And then we'll finish off playing some fun cat gaming again. Yeah, Anise, like Star Anise, very similar, Frank. So yeah, same time tomorrow as well, 11 a.m. Pacific. If you want to let us know some suggestions for what to cook next weekend, by all means, please stop by. Otherwise, I'm gonna go clean up, go try to the car rest of the day, have a little time to myself. I'm gonna try and uh, like edit my Twitch VOD for YouTube, shorten it, see how that goes. But yeah, other than that guys, thanks for everyone hanging out. I know it was a quick one today. Good to see some people that were also not here for a bit, Trev. Glad you're all well.
And yeah, if you need anything at all, you know where to find us, Discord, Twitch, any other social, I will be around, get back to you ASAP. Okay. It's so funny sometimes, like it, the stream feels weird to end when Sam is not here. She's like, okay, it's just me, I guess. <laughs> Guys, stay safe out there. Love y'all. Thank you so much for all the support with our goals, our San Diego Eats, our sub goal, and our freezer fund. It all means something. Okay, hope to see y'all tomorrow. Let's go see how Claire's birthday is. Make sure we go wish her a happy birthday. Thanks, friends. I'm gonna hit this button. Bye!